Mirror, mirror on the wall. Do we have a surprise secret lair drop? Obviously we have, obviously we have. E and D here. Obviously we have a surprise secret lair drop. Wizards of the Coast will never waste an opportunity to flood the secondary market. Artist series John Avon, a particular drop featuring four cards. Emrakul, the promised end, Progenitus, Brainstorm and Serra Angel. With new gorgeous artwork by John Avon. John Avon is not new in Magic the Gathering, starting contributing with his artwork from Mirage, and he is mostly known for his full art lens, especially the unhinged ones. But not only. Have a look at some of his precious work. Absolutely staggering. This drop will be released on October 2nd, alongside a larger secret lair super drop. But is it worth it to buy artist series John Avon? Price, the usual two versions, non-foil $29.99, $34.99, traditional foil $39.99, $44.99. Content value, approximately $79. The most valuable card in this drop is, without any doubt, Emrakul the Promise and a mythic card from Eldritch Moon, not a very popular set when it was released. Until today, Emrakul the Promised and never saw a reprint, and that's why it's currently valued at around $70. Then we have Progenitus, a mythic card from Complex, reprinted only in the list, valued at around $7. The rest two cards, Brainstorm and the popular but not very expensive, Serra Angel have a combined value of around $2. Verdict, worth it 65%. In terms of value versus the price, this drop is absolutely worth it. You are paying $30, 35 euro, and you are getting back nearly $80 worth of value. Plus the new stunning artwork by John Avon. But. I can't stop repeating, be extremely cautious with drops that 90% of its value is derived from only one card, Emrakul the Promised End. Once Emrakul is reprinted, and mark my words, it will be reprinted, Wizards of the Coast reprints everything everywhere. Once it's reprinted, I am sure that its value will drop, and alongside the value of this drop. Just don't forget that from the teaser artwork of Modern Horizons 3 we already know that the three Eldrazi Titans will most probably get a reprint. I have doubts that these will be new Eldrazi Titan cards and at this stage we don't know if the original Zendikar or the Battle for Zendikar slash Eldritch Moon three Eldrazi Titans will be reprinted. My advice buy only for John's artwork but don't overdo it in the hope to resell the single cards at the current valuation. There is no way that you're going to sell Emrakul for $70. To conclude, Wizards of the Coast will continue to better the secondary market with secret lair drops. Secret lair drops are not a good investment vehicle for Magic Dick Gathering. Don't forget it. I'm out.